unlike our other change makers, our next is the somewhat reluctant creator of a change to how money is spent on you and I by ministers in this building. It's not really a law, it's not a statute, it's not a theory, it's not even what it calls itself, a formula. And he would like to change it again. Formula an orderly queue to meet Lord Barnett. It's not complex. What's complex is the fact of the way it's implemented and its consequences for the budgets of those devolved areas of the country. Next year's expenditure, if you cut it by 10% in England, then it should be cut in Scotland and Wales by the same proportion, but as to 10% for Scotland, 5% for Wales and 5% for Northern Ireland. So simple. In fact, so simple it's stuck around the Treasury for 30 years, long after the necessities of 1976 to 79 made its creation a godsend to a busy Chief Secretary. Those years, it was very, very difficult financially. We had the International Monetary Fund on our backs. I had problems with cutting public expenditure all over the place. And this hived off that area and left me free to concentrate on the rest. So that was the reason I did it, for simplicity purposes at that time. I never thought about the question of analysing whether it was basically wrong. So to, some, to that extent, it's my fault, but nobody wanted to either. But the thing with the formula is Lord Barnett does think it's basically wrong and unfair, based coldly on population with no account of needs, something he sees being exploited. There are very shrewd people, particularly in Scotland, Alex Salmon, is using the extra money, both the prescri prescription charges and now tuition fees, for political advantage. And it's crazy. And I think more and more people will recognise it, and I will certainly make sure they recognise it. Is the Barnet formula a thorn in Lord Barnet's side these days? Well, in one sense it is, in the sense that it's so unfair and my name is attached to it. On the other hand, people tell me, I should, like I was told by Maurice Satchi, that I should be very proud. Some people don't have these kind of things. They have houses, streets. You've got a formula. I should be very proud of it. Well, I'm not proud of having my name attached to something that's so unfair now. But I, in a way, I'm pleased to be reminded that I had five years as Chief Secretary to the Treasury.